Oh, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. How are you, Seth? I'm Giandra. How are you? Great. How are you today? Wonderful. Thank you so much for participating in this project. Such a deep, meaningful point in uh, our history as black and brown people in this country. What was the preparation like for you for this role? Preparation for this role was a lot of research, watching the previous documentaries, reading a lot of the newspaper. They were kind enough to compile a ton of firsthand documentation of what happened and just digging into that. And then just honestly talking to my cousin who's in jail, talking to people who are still in the system and comparing those things that are unfortunately so similar still today. It's caught on like wildfire since it premiered on Netflix. Just the, the sheer storytelling alone, but just the emotions it's evoked in people. Have you been surprised by the reception that it's received from the public? I'm not sure if I'm surprised by the reception, but I'm grateful for the reception. I'm grateful that the story was told and received in a way that people can hear it in spite of the pain. You know, like my mother, she admitted she had to watch it in 10 minute segments. And I was like, that's totally fair. You've seen more of this than I've seen, you know what I mean, in real life. And so it's really wonderful and hopeful that people can watch it and celebrate it. What does a, a project like this do to help or hinder relationships between black people in the communities with policing agents, with district attorneys? How can this help or hinder that relationship? I think this can help the relationship between all of the communities involved in the story by it's an honest it's the truth it's not an opinion it's not it's not filtered through ego or fear it's the truth and if we all can work from the same truth we can start to heal we can start to help we can start to aid people and the people that have negative responses they're going to have a negative response anyway they they don't like black people anyway you know what i mean and so like that's a whole other issue it's the people that are able to see this and go all right let me connect with someone and make change that we celebrate not only is the story compelling, but the performance by all of you, the adult actors, the young actors, has been tremendous. What type of time did you spend with uh, the younger version of your character, uh, the young man who plays the younger version of your character? We hung out, the younger version of you, so we hung out a lot. His, I think he's one, he's so handsome and so <laughs> talented and so sweet. and. Um, we had a sense of, we didn't fully know what the other person was going to do, but we had a sense of it. We vibed with each other very well, and that was a great kickoff point. And, but then some of it was a surprise, like watching him, like the first night I saw it, I was like, oh, okay, he might be better than me. <laughs> you guys were both fantastic. Everybody was so good in this, so good in this. You know, as actors, you know, you have your own methods, how you prepare for a role, but what's, what's really compelling, it just seems so cohesive mm -hmm. with the young actors, with the adult actors. Is that something you all talk through in the process or just the magic just happens due to the great direction of Ava DuVernay? Yeah, I think you just said it. The magic is Ava. Like, it, it always starts from the top. When you see something that is so unified in its storytelling, that's because the director did their job. You know, and she trusted everyone to do their job, but when she needed to, you know, turn you a little left or right, she was very happy to come whisper in our ears and be like, you're great, and what about this? She's really great at notes, like very specific, beautiful notes. And lastly, what are, I know it's difficult, but what are three words you could use to describe this series for people who haven't watched it yet? Empathetic, tough, necessary. Thank you so much. Wonderful job.